part three already. Right, so in between part two and now, I managed to find out what was wrong with the GRFs. So we now have a full set of vehicles. Um, it was a case if I needed to update the GRF. So what we will do is we will send that train back to the depot and we will create it as a standard class 150 like we were going to do before or should we let's have a look so that one has 144 passengers 352 a year 144 yes yeah, so that one is this here 147 opposed to 144 and 288 a year opposed to 352 so it does make sense considering it's exactly the same size so what we will do is pick a nice livery like we did before um that one's a Whoop, didn't mean to clone the vehicle. Alright, let's have a look. What can we use? I'm sure we could use central trains because we're using a 170 for the express route. So, let's do that. I think we had two of these vehicles. We can check by going here and clicking on this button. Yep, so we have two vehicles. We can send... Oh, well, I was going to say we could send that to the depot, but apparently not. Apparently we can't do that. So, let's create that, which... Is a um, makes it look like a crossover, but in reality, it means it can now make like a U turn into the depot. So, let me get rid of all this crap on the screen, duplicate that, go and go. In fact, I might need to move it into the groups. Which one is it? South Stopper, so they can go into there. And there we are, that's just in cleaning things up. Um, okay. So the question now becomes, what next? So we have this railway up and functioning, and what we should probably do is look into, like I did say last time, um, creating some kind of bus network for the cities that we have now serviced. I'm just going to move um, some things out of the way on my desk so I have more room for keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to look here. I'm kind of examining this area looking for what kind of lines I can draw between towns that could be good bus routes. Um, the line, it doesn't have to be as specific as a, a line with buses opposed to railways because, you know, buses aren't really going to, um, you know, you can have kind of a bus route go up to a city and then back on itself because the thoroughfare of passengers comes from the fact of they want to go to the main city nearby. Um, we could maybe, yeah, this is probably the closest to an... A location we could use to the north of the city so I'll create like a little well actually if I demolish this not only will I create a loop that the buses can turn around on I've also created more space for expansion so we'll create a bus depot there this can come up here and there we are so that connects to setting hall is this close enough to the city center to warrant a bus station probably let's just create that <laughs> if you can hear any noises by the way it's because my housemates have, are cooking food at the moment i'm not quite sure how good my microphone is at picking up noise judging by the complaints of noise uh, of, of the volume in the previous videos maybe not too good which i guess is a good and a bad thing no background noise but also no foreground noise as well apparently so we'll see Notice how I'm connecting these to the station by holding down control. Um, is it worth, if we look at the catchment area of this, no, it's not cre worth creating a bus station, a bus stop even there. But if you look here, so the catchment ends um, on this line here. I nearly pointed with my finger there, which wouldn't have been much use. So we could put a bus station there or here. I'm going to put one there, because when the town builds outwards, it's uh, going to be a bit more efficient in terms of it's always good to have them a little bit further away. You don't want a bus stop like here. Because there's not going to be much profit in taking passengers from one end of the street to the other. Or as they say in Yorkshire, to t'other. Right, so let's create another loot. Bus um, stop there. So we now have a completed bus route. Uh, although what we could do, because we do need a bus depot, is create a secondary stop in this town maybe make it here and then create a bus depot there so what we can do is 
have a look. Oh, also, it was mentioned to me by someone who I can't remember because there's been a lot of discussion in the Discord chat that my breakdowns were on. So I'm going to turn those off. Um, let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so what buses shall we use? Um, shall we use the same ones as we used down here to keep it consistent? The MG ones we could do. There are for, some, for some reason there are two MG1 buses, so let's use this one. So we will start the route. Oh, why are my arrow keys not working? Sometimes I uh, get the positioning of the arrow keys wrong when I'm not looking at the keyboard. Uh, I'm left-handed by nature, so it can be a bit strange at times, a bit difficult. So, for instance, when I'm playing first-person shooters, um, I have to have P, L, comma, and apostrophe as my W, A, S, D. Right. So let's create a sending hall group. Let's have sending hall 23. Why not? Drop that into the group clone. Let's say we want 1, 2, 3, 4. That's that route done. How quick and easy it is now. I um I do like this automatic timetabling. It is uh, very efficient and it saves a lot of time. It means we can focus on just building things. So we're going to make a bus stop up here, and we're going to have a bus route that goes this direction. So why what we'll do is have that there connected to the station, and then the bus can come up here and through this town. So we'll have another bus stop there. Uh, no. Super tram. Hmm. Go on then. Metrolink. Hmm. Both are northern English trams. Um, the Metrolink is Manchester's. Super tram is Sheffield's. Okay. Is there another station? Station? Is there another village we can go to? That's probably that one. Um, I think we'll leave it at this. Um, for now, we'll have to demolish that to make a loop, and then we will create this route. So MG one central to the station. Pick up here, here. What these also serve to do is when you have stopping services on the main line. It's just another service that you can run just to keep the ratings um, high with the towns. So it kind of tricks the stations into thinking that you run more services when in fact they're just little crappy buses. If only real life worked like that. Well, in fact, I hope not. So it's sometimes buses can be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty terrible. Sometimes not. As I've noticed, um, living in Manchester, they just seem to be... The buses are a lot better than in other towns, but... Nah, can't beat a train. Speed, efficiency, you know you're going to be home on time, kind of thing. Right. So we have a bus network set up in Senning Hall, which means this town is going to grow in... I wouldn't say insanely fast, I'm going to say pretty fast. Um, we should probably look towards our next rail venture, so... What I'm looking for are neighboring large towns and where routes would go. Now we are quite close to the bottom of the map, which means that this could be a good idea to expand down here. Um, there's a big town there, well, big-ish, Hindbury, so that's one town. We could have a line that comes up this coast, maybe. Um, looks like there will be a, a nice little space for a bridge, maybe, further down the line, like a, a branch line that came to this kind of peninsula. Um, yeah, I think we should try and aim for Hindbury. Um, how are we going to make the station in Hindbury? Are we going to have... Because this looks like it would be a good space for a terminus. Because obviously it kind of nestles near the uh, centre of the city pretty nicely. Though, if we were going to go down to this area here, that's not really going to be that efficient. Because we can either have it... Let me try and demonstrate. We can either have it this way in which the line's going to have to kind of go like that around 
oh, it's going to be a nightmare to clean. Or we can have it this way, in which case there's going to be kind of an arch around this way, like that. Um, obviously a through fair would be a, a desired option, but um, although look, it is on a hill here, so what that does mean is maybe we could do this. So we'll demolish that. And we will add a girder bridge. We'll do the town a favour, connect these roads up. And then what we can do here is create a tunnel under half of the town. So that will bypass. I mean, we don't have to demolish buildings, which is always nice, isn't it? We've even got space for a nice little crossover there. Um, I'm going to do something here that I uh, sometimes do when I'm constructing by myself as well, which is we're going to build in, even though we're not going to build it for the foreseeable future, I'm going to build in the uh, the path out of the station the other end just so the town can't build around it. This makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to be risque and we'll put a station up now, give ourselves a, a time limit of sorts. So we'll create a bridge there, and let's make this a nice looking terminus station. Or we could use one of the roofs, like so. And then put a shelter there, that does look like a, an end of the country terminus. And we've got a tiny little village here, of Jindaburu. That ain't going to get many services, I can tell you that right now. 125 people not even even the entire population of that village could not fill a sprint train so what we can do is go under this uh, mountain here connect these up and we'll create a bridge there so give it the uh, prospect of expansion should it so desire and create a teeny tiny tiny little station I mean I mean they should be thankful I'm giving them street lights let's put it like that <laughs> street lights are uh, a little bit more than might get used at that station we can follow the uh, contour of this mountain don't have to do any uh, excavation just yet now how is it gonna get around here we could have it come down this way so we could have the tracks run there and there, or we could have them run there and there. Now this method will involve demolishing one, two, three buildings. This will two. So this is the preferred method. So, oops. so we will construct a bridge there, and then we will provide a way for the railway to drop a level before it gets to this station like so hmm. I'm also starting to think about how we'll service these stations as I'm building the route I'm taking note of the uh, sizes of villages so these three stations are very close to Hinbury and there's a big stretch before the next tier potentially we could include that village potentially a bus route so maybe we should have these as a as like a um like an offshoot line um in fact yeah i've got a pretty good idea we could have these three stations as a like a stopping service to hinbury and this could be the terminus of a stopping service that goes through all these villages and um, so you've there's a stretch uh, of express only line which means that services will be quicker they're not going to get stuck behind a stopping service from the start of the route to the end of the route which is easy enough so we'll we're going to make that as a terminus aren't we so what we will do is let's have a bypass lines first and we will create the bridge like this maybe Perhaps I don't sound confident in that because I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this yet But I think we can make something look cool. Let's see what we have to work with. Let's make it look nice So let's put a buffer stop there 
and let's just put in so first of all I'm one of these placards the signs and a bench is the terminus of the line so they are entitled to sit down and wait for the train should they so desire let's just signal this bit there we go what a nice little terminus okay so let's make the fall downs even for both sides of the truck and then we want to come this way I'm going to demolish that pink industrial building also take note of the fact there's a farm directly at the other end of the station of the uh, of the village sorry so how are we going to do this so first of all room for expansion second of all terminus so let's get our buffer stops and it would make sense to put it there so let's do the same kind of design but with some stairs because that's immediately accessible to me and we can make the track go like that actually that's a that's a nice little design I think it looks kind of a uh, natural like you'd expect now we have this town here and it looks like to me we should do that because like, sometimes it kind of just jumps out on me like oh yeah that's that looks like a really cool way through and that one did in that instance so through there which means kind of lines up perfectly actually and um, okay let's signal this bit we'll um, check the line after we're done um, in terms of signaling but I just I do like to do the junctions because it means I don't have to switch off this when I'm coming further down coming down later putting all the signals in now this would strike me as a slightly uh, bigger station so what should we put maybe a bridge so bridge bridge there one of these maybe is it big enough to warrant this um, yeah why not I'm feeling generous today yeah that looks like an okay station this reminds me very much like the line in general of a railway line in the east ridings of Yorkshire in the UK um, in terms of the station design it's basically for an area of the country near where I used to live um, pretty much all the stations had kind of this sort of canopy design um, although they weren't big stations they were very small kind of um, rarely used stations it's uh, the line itself, oh, I can't remember the exact name of the line, but it's the line from Scarborough, which I think I mentioned actually in a, uh, the, one of the videos before, and Hull, or as the locals call it, Hull, which I think I might have already said as well, which is strange. Hull is not what you would call the nicest place in the UK. Maybe not the worst, maybe not the worst, but isn't the nicest although it does have what was at one point the largest well the longest should I, should I say extension extension I'm gonna start this sentence again it had the longest suspension bridge in the world yeah it was in the world actually in the Humber Bridge now how am I gonna get across here um, I can put a bridge there I suppose I could put a bridge there actually as well. That makes sense. Okay. So last town to cover. We could tunnel under this town maybe. Um, what we could do is do that, <laughs> and then create a bridge here. Oop. A bit too eager. Nope, not a railway bridge. Let's have a road bridge. Quick before the bus gets there. Yeah, there we go. That is speed. See, that's uh, what Open TCD Esports League is released. It's that kind of stuff that's going to be putting me up there with the big boys. Mm -mm -mm. Right. So, tunnel under Gab Town. And we'll link the station. I'm going to move the bus station there just because that would make more sense with the fact we're going to put a station at the end of the tunnel I'm going to make the station uh, two tiles long 
and we will give it a feature we'll give it up some benches there we go now how are we going to connect it to here now the obvious what we could do actually is get rid of these two and create an entry there so let's make sure that that can get to every platform there we go that makes that's a nice design and then it also sets up this road to very easily be bridged over the new branch line so out we go and connected so there we go we have a nice branch well I would say branch line but it's nearly as big as the first line we created so let's signal everything up I'm gonna have 10 intervals signals there up to the first station and then we will start again start again that works perfectly there we'll start more signals move that one further up and that brings us pretty perfectly to this junction so yep yeah, that's there have a signal there then we'll do two more there get rid of that one yep yeah, it's looking good oh we need to do this don't we and we need to make a station here it is a very uh, that'd be a bit of a slap in the face to the council wouldn't it but like yeah right um i'm gonna demolish a few of your buildings and um, demolish your road create a big bridge have lots of cons lots of construction work they were like yeah yeah okay yeah but yeah you know we've got a railway now and we? we can go you know we can actually go to places we don't have to just stare at this ocean so yeah um we're not going to build a station though we're just going to tunnel through Hey, look, I sound like the HS2 planning committee now. Okay, right, so... Let's look. I'm going to put the signals in the tunnel, and have a signal there. And there we go. What we could also do with this land that I reclaimed for future use is turn it into a depot. So practical use of the land, I guess. So with this, what we'll do is we will create a stopping service of which I think needs to literally just be one train. <laughs> a 153 will do. Oh, look at it. So tiny. Okay, uh, let's have a Reva Cream. Mm, 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 mm. A Reva Cream. Not for use within infections, obviously. And then we'll have it terminate there. Just needs to be the one train. So we'll call this, what are we going to call this branch? We'll call it the Hindbury line. So we'll call it, oh no, we're, we're going to call it the something to Hindbury line. The Ratston Hindbury line. And we're going to call this Rat Hin South Stopper. See, I told you we'd use the same name straight after, even though, you know, it was kind of foreseen anyway. Um, so we have the south, the south stopper running. Let's just make sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we need a. I don't think we need an express train. I think we just need a semi, not a semi, a stopping service, and maybe kind of like a well, yeah, a semi fast kind of service. Um, we'll use a sprinter for this both of those 232 two seems a bit excessive 147 looks about right in terms of passenger numbers So we'll have one of these and have we got any Arriva cream left? I've got Arriva Wales. How does that look? Mmm, let's use Arriva Wales and We will have two maybe three if, mm, Two of these trains I believe in fact, yeah, actually, we're definitely going to have two. Um, because we'll have the stopping services, we'll have also have two trains for the north section of the line. Which would mean that the uh, kind of half big station here will have a fairly decent service overall. So, RTH, um, we're going to call it fast. 
because it's not technically an express it is just a very well not very fast it is a fast service it will get you to point a from point a to point b not in the most um speediest of possible times but in a very good time and i think we should have a, a similar train let's have a look Six three one sixty. Um, let's. Mm, yeah, we'll use another one of these. I guess in the future we can upgrade them um, to larger trains if they are ever needed. Of course, I might be using the same train too many times, but it's you know we will. I mean, let's not you know run before we can walk. Let's play to our strengths. We have a small network. <laughs> A small number of people. We'll wait for them to use it before we uh, go on any expansion rampages. So RTH North Stopper. There we go. I think that's pretty conclusive. I think I'm very happy with that. So we now have two lines. So this is where we stand. So we've got a big line up to Jim, from uh, Redston to Jimborne. We also have Redston to Hindbury. Um, this has a number of stopping services on the on the line. It has um, two expressy, fasty type of trains that run between them. Um, good grounds for expansion. Good grounds for eventually in the future maybe forming part of a West Coast main line up up the coast here. There's quite a bit to cover, you know. You know, everywhere's got to start somewhere. We could look into maybe expanding Redston at some point building a line outwards although there's not many big towns here uh even that's not a thousand there that's the nearest big town it's pretty big actually 2900 so that could be something to look into maybe a line from hinbury and a line from retson you never know but we've got you know we're building some base i'm happy with where we're going let me know what you think of everything let me know if you think i've done everything right let me know what you do interested to find out i've already learned some pretty interesting things and pretty helpful things in this series so definitely encourage more of that thanks for watching